Hidden Object Guru here with Hot New Game Before Nightfall, which is about starting a fire in the woods. But not in a bad, you know, Smokey the Bear type of way, in a you-need-this-to-survive kind of way. Okay, that's how fire to wood in the box, the time of burning campfire, degree of cold. Collect a uh, box full of fireworks for the nightfall, look for firewood, support the fire. For once, don't lose it to warm up, go to the campfire, otherwise you will have frozen. All right. Let's get to this. I will hide the hints, obviously. Let's go find some firewood, shall we? Uh, long-time denizens of the channel. Denizens? Uh, aficionados? Appreciators? Yeah, none of the buttons are doing what they said it would do. So I'm just going to play with a mouse and keyboard, as you do. And I got a single piece of wood, everybody. But anyway, long-time uh, denizens, visitors to the channel, what have you, will remember my fondness for a little game called The Long Dark, a game that I adore, but which did not love me in return. A game seemingly designed to... Uh, Make me hate life, and especially it. Oh, that sounds great. Hey, there's a map cue that tells me where the campfire is at all times. That's helpful. So does this game have any sound, or is my headset turned down too low? Alright, it's possible this game just doesn't have any sound. Apparently I'm about to freeze to death. That's not ideal. Come on, Hogaru, just a little bit more lumber and you got this. By the way, uh, non-traditional goals like this in video games are what I live for. Nice! That sounds like a really elaborate Dynasty Warriors game. As I said, I hadn't played a Dynasty Warrior since, uh, not, uh, since, like, 3, when I played 9, and that did not go well. Can I not just grab a hatchet and start attacking these giant, you know, things of wood here? Seems like that would make life a lot easier. I guess a hatchet wouldn't work, but it's, it's gotta come up with a saw, right? Okay, so that's a decent amount of fire. Got a little bit of wood. If I get a little closer, will I go down and fire faster? How does that work? At least we proved that the game does in fact have sound. That's something. I mean, it's kind of a low bar, but... So here's the real question. If I sprint everywhere, does my coldness meter go up faster or slower? I would say slower because I'm keeping warm throughout physical activity, but also factor in, uh, if you factor in exhaustion, it could actually go, fa like, they could justify it going slightly faster. So for the record, I don't think zombies ever turn up. If you're expecting zombies to turn up and I have to, uh, fight them, that's not going to happen. It is It is just about gathering stuff to burn. And you're probably thinking, hey, why aren't you gathering all that brush? And I would say, you know what? I feel like gathering brush would be a good idea. But no, it's not that type of game. You're not able to just grab whatever. In real life, once you have a sufficiently large fire going, you can just start tearing uh, branches off of trees, and it doesn't matter if they're frozen or covered in pine needles or whatever. They will burn. Uh, you'll get a very smoky fire, but they will burn. Just fine. Okay. Oh, there's no fall damage. There wasn't fall damage, everybody. We're living the dream. Zero fall damage dream. Okay, so, uh, this went well. Let's get a little more to keep the fire going. 
and then a bunch more for the box of wood. I gotta say, this fire burns out real fast. Some might say unrealistically fast. You know, compared to a paragon of realism like, oh, I don't know off the top of my head. Uh, the long dark. I shouldn't still be bitter at the long dark, I recognize that. It's just so many times I played that game and lost so much progress to crashes. I'm not only taking it out on the long dark, but on games that remind me of the long dark. Which, as I said, a bad habit to get into. I found out today about another service that encourages people to request review copies of games and sends them out. It suddenly occurred to me that I shouldn't have overfilled the fire. I should only fill the fire up enough to get me warm on that specific occasion, because it does not help me at all to keep the fire going when I'm not there. How does that in any way help? It doesn't is the answer. But yeah, uh, I found out. I'm trying to remember what it's called. But anyway, so I've got another source to say, hey, I'm the Hidden Object Guru. Wouldn't you like to put me in touch with publishers looking to publicize their games via me playing them in what could arguably be called a, uh, a half-assed fashion? And what is the short light? Is that a reference to the sun going down too early because it's, you know, the dead of winter? I should also play Kona. Uh, which I was going to play Kona, but then I found out it was coming out with a VR add-on, so I didn't buy it. But now the VR add-on is out, so I should probably pick up Kona and the VR add-on. And we've had a, hit an invisible wall, everybody. Maybe they thought I wouldn't try to climb that mountain. They were wrong. I thought maybe I could pick up a piece of that broken uh, fence, but it was not to be either. Yes. Oh, okay. I should get back to base. Uh, darkness is almost here. I'm about to freeze to death. I don't have a full thing of lumber. It's, uh, it's pretty much just a dog's breakfast I've made of this whole situation. I hope that's the right term. Well, no, it's not the opposite of the long dark. It's uh, describing the same concept from the opposite point of view. Come on, 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 come on. Oh my god, I can't believe how close I came to freezing to death. Whew! Come on, come on, come on, come on. This is going great. Oh, wow. So a full load of lumber in your inventory does not equate to a full box of lumber back at base. I, uh, I was not expecting that. I was really hoping I had collected most of the lumber I need with that trip, but in fact I had collected slightly less than half. Oof. And it's almost night time, so uh, yeah, expect this to have a sad ending in about two minutes. I'm going to try my best, but uh, I figure, like, we're about two minutes away from a sad ending. You know, if you were to put some... Uh... There we go. If you were to put some music on this, I think it would really help. Not a lot of music. Just, like, some mournful strings. Maybe some choral effects. You know, just something to punctuate the loneliness. Or, if you just wanted to go the other way with it, and it's... Oh, you can't let the campfire go out. Well, you didn't tell me that. Did they tell me that, and I just wasn't paying attention, or did they not tell me that? Right, there we go. 
Footstep sounds would help. Crunching snow footstep sounds. Let me check the help. Oh, you can only set up the campfire once. Alright, I missed I did miss that in the description. It's a little crazy that you can only set up the campfire once, but whatever. Yeah, footsteps crunching on snow would be nice. Some, you know, uh, high winds that sound eerie. Uh, like they're cutting through you, because, you know, that's what cold winds will do. Like, that that would be good. Like, I think uh, an audio soundscape at all... <laughs> yeah, I guess I did. Uh, would help this game a huge amount. Just something to... Uh, something to help build the world. Because it's a decent-looking, like, little valley they've built here. Right. It looks okay, but without any sound effects to go with it other than the sound of the fire. And while the sound of the fire is reassuring, I'm not going to debate that, other sounds would really help punctuate the scene in a way that I think people would find fascinating and satisfying. Uh, okay, it is tough to find lumber. Oh, wait, magic cave? Hermit cave? Hermitage? No. Also, maybe go inside the cabin and use, like, the stove. So your uh, fire is not at risk of being blown out by the wind. If only I could use my hint power to tell me where the uh, lumber was. Like, some kind of a lumber sense. That'd be nice. Sadly, this game does not have upgradable perks, as far as I can tell. I'm not gaining experience for each footstep I take. I gotta say, I know I was being, like, sarcastic there, but it would be kind of nice if there was, like, bars giving you... If they, like, really obviously gamified a huge amount of this and gave me, like, a series of experience bars for all the stuff I was doing. It's like, you've reached level three at wood gathering. Now you get twice as much wood for every piece of wood you gather. That kind of jive. That would that would actually entertain me quite a bit. Oh no. When you say flint fire starter, you mean uh, I assume you don't mean one of those fire sticks. You mean actually pieces of flint that you use to create a spark? Alright, gonna... Alright, I'm about to freeze to death, so I think we're about to lose a second time. You're not gonna give me, like, a countdown when I get to maximum cold, are you? You're just gonna kill me, right? Yeah, you're just gonna kill me. If, uh... I want to point out that I got within inches of that fire. Oh, okay, so the lack of footsteps is just a glitch. I've I've decided that the lack of footsteps is definitely just a glitch, because when the level starts, we hear the uh we hear a single footstep. So we're supposed to be hearing that out all, all the time, but for some reason the coding has had a minor error and it does not play on footsteps. Which is too bad. I mean, yeah, you got a bunch of dry uh, kindling. You know, like some dry moss or whatever. You pile it up, you make some sparks, you blow on it. I mean, I don't know that I could do it in the woods. Uh, I could make that happen in the woods. I understand in theory what you're supposed to do, but I've never lit uh, fires with anything but matches or lighters. So, in practice... Uh, while I understand the theory of it, I don't know if I would be able to pull that off. Come on, lumber. So while on one level it seems like having no music 
you know, makes it more realistic. The lack of music combined with the lack of any uh, environmental sound effects whatsoever really just combines to make this more artificial. Like, if you weren't going to do any environmental sound effects, footsteps, wind, the sound of um, snow falling off of trees in clumps, which is a pretty awesome sound if you've never heard it. Like, boom. Like that scene in that comic book. You know, the scene where all the snow flumps down? You're like, oh, it's winter now. Flump. Uh, if you know what comic book I'm referring to, be the first commenter below the video to mention it, and you will win a prize. But anyway, that scene, uh, much like in that scene, uh, the snow... Oh, I'm actually out of space for more lumber. It's the first good news I've heard today. And now I can't pick up that piece of lumber. That's less impressive. All right, let's go fill this up with uh, lumber. Oh, that's so sad. Hey, John. Just saw your message. All right, I don't think I'm going to freeze to death. Then get back to base, I assume. Uh, it's a very simplified survival mechanic here, uh, John. This time, literally, it is just a, a small game that is about surviving a single night by setting one fire and keeping it tended. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. That was close, huh? Alright, one, two, three, four. Alright. That should be plenty of fire, right? Can I take some of that wood back out? I cannot. Okay. Maybe should have been more careful about the fire. Ah, in any event, we're doing great. We have a decent amount of fire. I saw a whole bunch of timbers on the way back that I basically know where they were. I think if I just run up to those timbers on the hill and then come back down the hill the same way, I should stumble into the lumber I missed the first time. Well, I didn't miss it. I found it. I just, you know, was full. Full of lumber. I guess laden down with lumber. Never tried starting a fire with a magnifying glass. I understand that's not all that difficult to do at the correct time of day. I always wonder, do you need the do you need sunlight? Could you do that with a powerful flashlight as well and a magnifying glass? Can you make your own heat ray? Ah, there's the lumber. It's possible I did not make that fire last long enough. Okay. Yeah, the fire's about to go out. I badly misjudged the amount of uh, lumber I needed to put on there. This could be a, a complete tragedy about to unfold as I become some sort of human icicle. Uh, the game only has a couple of trophies attached to it. I assume one for each way of dying and one for uh, surviving the night. Because I got a trophy for uh, letting the fire go out, and I got a trophy for freezing to death, so it makes sense that there would also be a trophy for surviving the night. Come on, fire, don't go out, don't go out, don't go out. You know you don't want to go out. Yeah, that's a good amount of fire there. Perfect. It's just, uh, oh, can I set myself on fire? I cannot. That's a nice twist. It's the only sound effect they paid for, people. So let's all luxuriate in it, shall we? Ah, my kingdom for a chainsaw. Anyway, let's see if there's any lumber back here. 
There is. Right away, we're off to a good start. And I'm almost out of time, obviously. But, you know. <laughs> oh, these fine mass adjustments are killing me! Oh, and yes, if you want to enter the quiz, be sure to put the time code for where the quiz happened in the video. Uh, so I can check your answer. Because that's the only way I have of knowing what the question was and whether you've answered it correctly. Now, theoretically, I could uh, also write down the questions, but uh, that would require a lot of record keeping that is neither my passion nor my forte. And you might say, aren't you too lazy to be running quizzes? And I would say, I mean, borderline, yeah, but you can still win them. So there you go. Samurai Warriors is Japanese Dynasty Warriors, as I understand it. And if so, I hope you enjoy yourself quite a bit. Uh, I don't think I've ever played a uh, Samurai Warriors game, but as I always say, I'm down for whatever other Musou you want to give me. Zelda Warriors, Dynasty Warriors, Gundam, Fist of the North Star especially. Uh, that One Piece one's pretty amazing. Yeah, I don't see any lumber. Here I'm trying to scan the uh, area from high up, opening to the ow. Then I fell down a hill. Luckily, there's no health bar or fall damage, but still, that wasn't ideal. Aha! Lumber! A very small amount of lumber. Hey, Matty. How you doing? Yeah, we're about to freeze to death again. This this lumber hunt has not gone great. Uh, we got nowhere near enough to survive the night. It is almost night, and the fire's going to go out soon. What I'm saying is, if this game has taught me one thing, it's that I would not do well in the wilderness in winter. Uh, wait! Again, look at all of this lumber. Just want a little piece of it. Can I not drag it under? I just thought, wouldn't it be great to try and drag that over to the fire and then, like, put uh, one end of it into the fire and then, like, push it forward a couple of feet every hour? But I understand that that's not how fires work. But I think that would be quite entertaining. Oof. So in, uh, I can assume in Samurai Warriors, you'll see, like, fire tornadoes caused by people using a, uh, uh, like a, a pole arm. They'll spin it and a fire tornado will happen. Because that's not the kind of stuff you see in uh, Dynasty Warriors. That's a good plan. Also, what kind of newspaper work were you going to do? I had a paper route when I was very young, but then they stopped, uh, I stopped being good at it. <laughs> no, seriously, I mean, I moved on to high school and didn't have time. Uh, but more importantly, then they stopped doing afternoon papers, so, you know, they only hired adults after that, because, you know, they're not going to have a kid do, uh, deliver papers at five in the morning. That's how people do? get kidnapped. One of my I'm sure that's true, but Ottawa is a civilized city in a way in ways the Cornwall isn't. Oh. I think anybody that gets up at five a.m. is, is a is a ridiculous, self-destructive person. Yeah, no, that's fair. Although you've just taken a shot at everyone in every military uh, discipline, so bravo. Yeah. Again, turn down a scholarship. There you go. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. 
You want me to get up early? Yeah. Your structure? You think that appeals to me, a high school student? It appeals to nobody. My uh, big message for getting out of high school was good. Now to never set another alarm in my life. And that hasn't been true, but it's a goal to which I aspire. All right, it was nighttime. We failed. Oof. All right, this has been uh, Before Nightfall, a game that I'm not great at. Uh, exit to menu. Uh, I gotta say, I mean, I like the simplified survival mechanic that focuses on just one item, but really, if you added some sound effects, maybe some music, you could have something very moody and interesting here, but right now it's a little threadbare for me to recommend. I have been the Hidden Object Guru. Thanks for coming on this journey with me. If you had a good time and you'd like to see more, there's buttons for that. Questions, suggestions, related whatnot. Go in the comments section below the video. Also, entries into the quiz. I will see you back here for more new and upcoming games, but until then, au revoir.